I'm pleased to be joined by Sarah Fox from Thorpe Recovery Center. Sarah, thanks for taking some time to talk with me today. Absolutely. So a little later on, we're going to be talking about how people can support Thorpe Recovery Center during this holiday season. But first, can you tell me a little bit about the uh, Hunger Games Challenge? What is it, first of all? For sure. Yeah. Um, so the social club here at Thorpe, we wanted to do something to help out the community. And we wanted to have fun doing it as well. And we love a little competition. So we threw out a challenge to a couple of the nonprofits in Lloydminster and the Sexual Assault Centre accepted the Hunger Games to see who could collect the most non-perishable goods for the Olive Tree and the Salvation Army Food Bank. So how can people go about donating their food donations? They can drop it off to either uh, district, so District 1 or District 2, being the Thorpe Centre or the Sexual Assault Centre, and you can, it's probably best to contact the centres before drop pardon me, before dropping off, uh, just due to COVID and hours and things like that. Now, around this time of year, a lot of people consider donating uh, to charities and different nonprofit organizations. Uh, how can people go about supporting uh, Thorpe Recovery Center? Uh, there's lots of ways this year. Uh, first off, we do have some new recovery comfort kits that we've launched uh, this Giving Tuesday. So that was on December 1st. And there's three levels of kits and they're uh, contain items, personal care items and comfort items for people who are coming into the center with pretty much nothing. Uh, and those kits are kind of geared to what they do have when they do come in. Um, so toothbrushes, uh, toothpaste, socks, toque, um, just some things to give some comforts of home for when they're here. And to learn more about that, you can go to our website. Um, and we also are looking for support for the clients Christmas. So those who will be here over uh, the holidays, we do want to make this place um, as comforting and homey as possible. For some, this may be their first time in recovery over the holidays in a very long time. And so it's for us to show them that you can have a really great holiday uh, without perhaps their substance or some associated uh, activities that they're used to and having some clean, sober fun. Um, so for that, we are looking for um, support to provide a nice turkey dinner once or twice, um, or even uh, donations of jackets and uh, mitts and toques so we can make sure that they're warm throughout this winter. Um, and also just because of COVID, we've had to really isolate uh, a lot of our activities. And so a lot of the group activities can't really happen right now. So watching uh, a Christmas movie together isn't the same. We have to break it out into a lot of smaller groups. Um, so any donations towards helping making that happen would be really incredible. Um, we're kind of calling them isolation kits. So we can give them crafts and things to do while they're in their smaller groups and alone time. And for people who are looking uh, to donate or maybe they want some more information, is calling the center the best way to go about that? That would be the best way. And then I can uh, help them out from there. You can visit our website, thorperecoverycenter.org slash donate uh, to learn about the recovery kits or just to donate uh, cash directly online. Um, or you can contact myself at the center um, or send us an email and we'll make sure that we get back to you. And as we wrap up 2020 and look towards 2021, is there anything that uh, is going to be happening that you guys are looking forward to, or maybe something near the end of the year that you guys are looking forward to? Uh, well, even just before the year's over, we do have uh, an exciting event coming up on the 23rd, I believe it will be. If you uh, check out our social media feeds this week, more information will come out. Uh, nothing's just been released yet, so we're sitting tight on it for now. Is there anything else that you would like to add uh, for people to know about before we go today? We're just really grateful for everybody's support this year. Um, we've seen a huge, uh, an increase in, in giving this year, and it's been great uh, to have the support of the community and the understanding that um, mental health and addictions is a, is a problem, but there are supports available, and we are happy to help everyone out. That's interesting and good news that you've seen an increase in donations. Seems that more people are at least... In my perspective, people are giving a bit more. It's been uh, overwhelming, actually, because our Sober September campaign was was quite successful. Um, our recovery kits that we launched just two weeks ago, they're really taking off. Um, and I have a lot of bags to fill. <laughs> um, it's It's been incredible. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking some time to talk with me today. It was great to talk with you, Sarah. Thank you so much.